Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a pretty cool project in mind. I actually want to build an aircraft that has an autopilot capability so that I can become the rear turret, basically. I don't need a secondary player for this build. It's just me and the plane with some logic. And then with that logic, hopefully, I'll be able to have a gunner seat. Let's get into it. Okay, so I think the idea is pretty self-explanatory. Um, Yeah, so I need a gunner seat. So let's build that first. I actually think I want to use the space base cockpit for today. I know, weird, right? By the way, guys, this is not going to be the cockpit for the actual aircraft. This is just for the gunner. We're actually going to be making a custom cockpit. Actually, we won't even need a cockpit. It's going to be more like a drone, if anything, now that I think about it. And all I need to do is add some servos. There we go. And that is basically it for the, uh, the turret here, the gunner seat. So this is what I will be sitting in the whole time. I'll actually be facing backwards whilst flying. Obviously, I have the lasers underneath that actually shoot. And then some fake cosmetic cannons here to just make it look a little better, you know? And then if I go in the, the seat camera here... Oh, I, I can't actually see the lasers. So, um, <laughs> they're shooting into the ground. Wait, here we go. If I shoot into the sky... Ah, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. I mean, I could always add real lasers. Okay, I've changed the orientation of the uh, the weapons here. So hopefully when I shoot, it kind of gives a better feeling of shooting out of those side cannons. It, no, it's not working. It's not really working. <laughs> well, it's going to have to do. So let's move on to the main build now, which is the plane. Well, I was originally going to just like save this and bring it back out later and uh, get the plane done. But now I realize just having it out as a reference is, is just the smart idea here. Now I'm only gonna need the turret to rotate up and down here, guys, because if I wanna aim sideways, I'll just use yaw on the plane. Like, it saves so much work. <laughs> I actually don't think this aircraft needs to be very big here, guys. It's essentially gonna be a, a drone. That's the vibe I wanted to give off anyway, you know? I think this is coming along nicely. Also, I think for the shape of this aircraft, the wing is going to be like a crescent moon. That's like such a unique shape. <laughs> oh, and this fake cockpit here is going to give the illusion that there's more players in the vehicle when there's not. There's just me. Good old me. But hey, at least it's gonna look cool, right? I didn't get much sleep last night, guys. What's actually fun about building this is I get to design it myself. This is all from, like, the top of my imagination. So whatever happens is whatever happens. I can't wait to see this thing finished. All right, so I do gotta leave a bunch of space inside here just for all the, uh, the fancy logic. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're getting there. Nice. If I highlight this area here... Oh, there we go. And just give it a quick paint job. There's our fake cockpit. There we go. And here's the real one where I'm going to be chilling. And if we test this really quick. Yep, that's looking pretty good to me. Okay, now comes the difficult part. Designing this crescent moon wing design here. Because it's basically just a, a U, an upside down U. It's a giant curve. And I also need to manage to get my, my module wings in there. So, that's going to be interesting. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm, uh, having a little trouble designing this crescent moon wing. However, I haven't really seen it with two sides yet, so I need to duplicate it across. Let me just try and copy everything here. Just select it all. There we go. And voila! That's okay! You know what? I don't think that's too bad. Like, from a distance? That actually looks freaking cool, man. Okay, and then if I add my vertical stabilizers... All right, that's pretty sick. <laughs> it's like, obviously, chunky here because of the, the wing. But I mean, hey, we need lift, right? I mean, mm, I could make it a little slimmer. I think it's just very chunky, that's all. Okay, there we go. That's looking cool. It's actually a way smaller build than I intended, you know? Like, I thought I would be building a pretty decent medium-sized vehicle. It's really that simple, guys. All I need to do now, guys, is do a bunch of gyro logic. I am a bozo because I need propulsion. Right, well, that's an easy fix. I'm just going to do relatively simple dragon jets under the wings. Honestly, I, I just there's just no space. There's no space. I'm not trying to make this the most beautiful build in the world. I just want to get the point across, you know? The concept of having a vehicle that I can toggle into 
a uh, like an autopilot state, so I can focus on gunning down my enemies. <laughs> okay, let's give it a test if it can fly. Okay, that's not good. Is it just not enough pitch controls? I mean, these tiny, tiny ailerons are not exactly the most powerful things in the world. There we go, it works. Yeah, it was just uh, the ailerons. <laughs> so it can fly forward. Does drop a lot though. Like it's quite, it's quite heavy. There's just not enough lift, I don't think. It's an easy fix though. We can work around it. Okay, that was a relatively simple fix. So what is actually happening is there's a speed sensor set to 0 0.1 that is facing down and um, it's push it's activating those those damn rocket thrusters and giving me lift artificial lift all right i like the way it's flying now i just did a few more like bits and bobs of tweaking and testing and uh it's it's flying like gorgeous now so now what i want to do is make it so when i press like right on the d-pad for example it changes from the flight mode into an autopilot mode where the plane will just automatically stable out fly flat and forward and just keep going and i could just focus on shooting and that's actually really easy to do all i need to do is add the gyro stabilizer a couple of them actually just inside the bottom of the plane here i think two each uh on each axis should be good and then we have them off by default, right on the D-pad, and then let's turn the strength up. Let's go for... Now, hopefully this works. Let's give it a test. So, everything's off. All I need to do is press that button. We're flying nice and level now, and we should just keep flying in the same trajectory. Actually, you know what? I might even up the strength a little bit more. Just now realizing I have some space to add a, a control surface here. There we go. If I add this, this should help with my lift issue a little bit more. I'm actually going to have this activate when I turn into the autopilot mode. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, guys, I'm deciding that this rear section here, the gunner, is actually going to be deactivated whilst in the normal mode and only activated when i am in that autopilot mode ah this is gonna take a little bit more brain juice than i would like it to but uh here we go here's my and gate i'm actually just gonna just put a bunch of and gates down and um we need our activation control here so that's a toggle you know what i'll paint that green so i can see the logic i know what's happening when i paint when i color code it okay that logic was relatively simple to do I've actually changed the uh, the toggle button to A, so when I press A, everything switches into autopilot. Now that we have that logic on top, time for another test. Here we go, can we fly? Yes, we can. Easy peasy. And then once I press A, we're now in the autopilot mode. And wait a minute. My, my dragon jet engines are sp supposed to be on. Okay, should be fixed. <laughs> Let's try again. All right, so we're in this normal mode. I can fly pretty smoothly. And then by click of a button, it is now hands-free, guys. It is hands-free. And I have the full motion of the rear gunner now. So I can shoot. And then if I want to aim sideways, I can activate the yaw controls, which isn't too bad. <laughs> so anyone who's on my tail, they're not going to have a good day with this. We finally got there in the end with everything, so all we need to do now is clean it up and give it a paint job. Well, here you go, guys. Here is my build. I've kept the paint job relatively sweet and simple and decided to go for an asymmetrical paint job here with a uh, cool, large, glowy decal. So let's give it another test around the map here. Honestly, this thing isn't too bad on... Oh, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say the maneuverability is okay. It's good. It's not like a fighter jet or anything, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get yourself out of a situation pretty quickly. It's just lacking speed. So let's give this a quick test. If I fly upside down, for example, like now and then switch into the gunner mode. Autopilot has engaged. There we go. We can just focus on... Pew, 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 pew. Look at that. 
It's actually a really... I, I didn't know how detailed the seat was. Look at this. We really need to test this out in combat. So I'm thinking, let's take this into some public lobbies. Okay, we're joining a server. Hopefully it lets me join and uh, doesn't disconnect me straight away. Okay, we're in. I'm also in disguise. I've changed my name. <laughs> but let's get our aircraft out. Here it is. And uh, hopefully these guys are up for having a little battle. If they're not, then we're going to have to change servers. Oh, no, I see weapons going off. They're in ground vehicles, though. I'm not sure how well this will fare against ground vehicles. You know what? I'm pretty curious. Let's put the autopilot on. Okay, well, we're going very fast. Yeah, this is designed for air combat. <laughs> All right, got full controls back on the uh, plane. He, asked, he said, why? Well, I guess these guys are busy in ground vehicles, so <laughs> we got to change lobbies really quick. Okay, well, it means people are active and are trying to fight. I guess I'm going to be shooting down missiles in this thing. Okay, well, I'm not as fast on the takeoff, guys. Uh, just give me a chance. <laughs> All right, we're in the air. Hopefully we get chased down. Whoa, is that a missile? No, what the? Dude, no, don't hit me, please. I'm Okay, we need to shoot it. We need to shoot it. I'm an autopilot. Here we go. Can I even hit that? No, I cannot hit that. Well, that's, uh... They have that strength really high up on that. <laughs> oh, it's gone. It's gone. Cool, cool, cool. It's gone. All right, here we go. They're getting in the air. All right, we're in the gunner seat mode. Come on, gunner seat mode. Oh, I pressed the wrong key. I was supposed to shoot him. I got hits. I got hits. Oh. Well, <laughs> what on earth is this? That's a missile. Okay, well, I uh, I got blundered there, guys. But for a split second there, I was actually gunning him down. I was, I was shooting him until he launched a uh, Mach 20 million missile at me. It was okay. You know what? Let's go one more time. See if I can hit that missile. I'm genuinely curious. Where is he? There he is. Okay, autopilot. Camera view. Okay, all right. Um, I can't aim all the way down. So I got to turn my plane facing this way. All right, here we go. Shoot. Oh, okay. All right, he's flew right past. Oh, no, he's launched the missile. He's launched the missile. <laughs> oh, man. No. Okay, well, uh, that's too OP. I can't fight that. All right, I asked the dude not to uh, use the missile on me this time so I can actually have a fair fight, you know? So I'm in the air. I'm actually going to get into my gunner seat. It's so bizarre because I actually have to fly backwards. I'm flying backwards. And he's coming after me. So I'm going to pilot the plane to fly this way. Oh, it's like inverted controls because I'm flying backwards. I think a camera block should have been a, a smart play here, but I didn't think of it. Oh, here he comes. All right. Autopilot. Shoot him. I've already lost the laser. No way I've lost the laser already. Uh-oh. Come on. Get behind me. Get behind me. Get behind me. Oh, okay. We're getting hit. Oh, he has an EMP, bruh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That, that EMP is not ni nice. It's not nice. It's not nice. Ah, uh, pull up. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. Okay, all right. I took controls back on the plane. Gonna see. Oh, no, EMP. No, not EMP. All right. <laughs> that battle also did not go well. I'm so confused what this guy is making. Is it a plane or a helicopter? All right, autopilot's on. Here we go. Rear guard, let's just focus on shooting. I know we have the capabilities to shoot him down. I know we do. If not, then this would have would have been all for nothing. No, not for nothing. This is this was a fun build to make. Oh, he's pulling out a twin prop. Good old twin propeller plane. Don't mind if I do. Oh, off he goes. He's in the air. The chase is on. All right, I'm just going to fly until he gets behind me, which is about now, autopilot. Whoa, did you see how quick I flipped into position there? Come on, get those hits. Come on. Oh, whoa, a rocket. No way. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. He crashed. He crashed, okay. Oh my, look at my seat. It's glowing. That's the one thing I didn't think of is the, the center of mass. 
Okay, I'm going to count that as a win. That's a win. We did it. We actually uh, we took down an enemy. It was semi-melee, but we, we took him down. I think he's coming back after me. All right, I'm, I'm already back in autopilot because I'm just going to focus on shooting, honestly. Oh, no! I'm hit with a damn rocket. That's... that's oh, that hurt. That really did hurt. I'm down to one laser. It's actually quite difficult now. I think he's knocked out a bit of logic. You know what? I'm getting some good hits. Oh, okay. Well, that was short-lived. <laughs> At least we have tested the concept here. Is it practical? Not so much. <laughs> Just with the aim assist, uh, aiming at like, you know, the center of mass on builds and having the seat directly in the line of fire of the enemy is a bit of an L. But other than that, I've actually really enjoyed making this little Diddy aircraft. It's uh, pretty cool. The autopilot's an awesome feature, which I might be adding to future builds. It's nice to let go of the controller every now and then and uh, just, just kind of cruise. Just focus on one thing at a time. This being the rear gunner. If you have any ideas on what I should build next for another project, definitely leave them down below, guys. And hopefully uh, it'll go a little bit better than this one. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.